Good day again, my friends. This is Emperor Jackson bringing you another devotion. Today we continue our devotion series on peace. Peace. Let us bow our heads as we go now to the Lord in prayer. Dear God, open our hearts, open our souls, open our minds to be receptive to your word today. We ask and pray, dear God, that you would strengthen me where I'm weak. Allow me to be used by you, dear God, to help say something, to help somebody who's going through the ups and the downs of life, somebody who's sick, somebody who's going through some discord in their family or in their work world. I ask you, dear God, to allow me again to be used by you to remind them that you are God of peace. This we ask in thy name. Amen. I'd like to begin by reading from Isaiah, the 26th chapter, beginning at verse 3. Isaiah 26, 3. Hear now these words. Those of steadfast mind you keep in peace, in peace because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord God you have an everlasting rock. Those of steadfast man, mind you keep in peace, in peace because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for in the Lord you have an everlasting rock. In life, we face difficulties. In life, we face challenges, rather with children, spouses, on our jobs, in school, because we're human, life is often full of challenges, conflict. And we find ourselves in the midst of storms, and we're looking for that elusive peace. But we turn many times to the wrong places to seek peace. We turn toward material possessions. We turn toward alcohol or drugs. We turn toward various ways to numb our minds and to try to find that peace that we so, so, so much want. But God is reminding us through Isaiah today that if we trust in God, it is God who will give us that peace. It is God who will provide for us even in the midst of the trials of life. It is God who will make sure that everything is okay because God is our everlasting rock. If you believe that today, I would like for you to join me now for another prayer as we ask God for peace in our hearts, our souls, our minds, in our entire world. Let us bow our heads. Oh God, <clears throat> Isaiah reminds us that you are truly the everlasting rock. You are the one, dear God, who gave us life. You're the one who protects us. We ask and pray right now, dear God, that you would give us all that we need to find that peace that only you can give. Bless and watch over us and all of those under the sound of my voice, dear God. Bless them and uplift them. This I ask most humbly in thy name. Amen. Amen and amen. 